Plato is usually remembered as a philosopher, but he was also one of ancient Greece's most important patrons of mathematics. Inspired by Pythagoras, he founded his academy in Athens in 387 BCE, where he stressed mathematics as a way of understanding more about reality. In particular, he was convinced that geometry was the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe. The sign above the academy entrance read, Let no one ignorant of geometry enter here. Plato played an important role in encouraging and inspiring Greek intellectuals to study mathematics as well as philosophy. His academy taught mathematics as a branch of philosophy, as Pythagoras had done before him. Plato became known as the maker of mathematicians, and his academy boasted some of the most prominent mathematicians of the ancient world, including Eudoxus, Theaetetus, and Archetus. He demanded of his students accurate definitions, clearly stated assumptions, and logical deductive proof, and he insisted that geometrical proofs be demonstrated with no aids other than a straight edge and a compass. Plato the mathematician is perhaps best known for his identification of five regular symmetrical three-dimensional shapes, which he maintained were the basis for the whole universe and which have become known as the platonic solids. A platonic solid is a convex, multifaceted 3D object whose faces are all identical polygons with sides of equal length and angles of equal degrees. A platonic solid also has the same number of faces meeting at every vertex. The ancient Greeks recognized and proved that only five platonic solids can be constructed. Plato described the five platonic solids in Hymenaeus in around 350 BCE. He was not only awestruck by their beauty and symmetry, but he also believed that the shapes described the structures of the four basic elements thought to compose the cosmos. Here we will look at the five platonic solids, starting with the tetrahedron. A tetrahedron is made up of four equal-sided triangles. Plato considered the shape represented fire, perhaps because of the polyhedron's sharp edges. A hexahedron, or cube, is made up of six equal-sided squares. Plato considered this shape to represent Earth, perhaps because they looked sturdy and solid. An octahedron is made up of eight equal-sided triangles. Plato considered this shape to represent air. A dodecahedron is 12 equal-sided pentagons. Plato decided that God used the dodecahedron for arranging the constellations in the heavens. And finally, an icosahedron is comprised of 20 equal-sided triangles. Plato considered this shape represented water, perhaps because they were smoother than the other platonic solids.
So there you have the sacred geometry of the ancient world. These platonic solids inspired mathematicians and geometers for many centuries to come. In the 16th century, the German astronomer Johannes Kepler attempted to relate the five extraterrestrial planets known at that time to the five platonic solids. In 1596, Kepler proposed a model of the solar system in which the five solids were set inside one another and separated by a series of inscribed and circumscribed spheres. Although Kepler's theories were wrong, he was one of the first scientists to insist on a geometrical explanation for celestial phenomena. My name is Bradley Moore, and this has been a presentation of Plato teaching mathematics as a branch of philosophy for the history of mathematics, Mayville State University. Thanks for watching.